Good morning, everybody. This is Robert Mim, also known as the Gaming Guy, with another edition of Gaming Guy Digest. It's the week of August the 12th. So all the things that I'm talking about in terms of gaming, sports, sports betting, as well as sports business, we covered here. Hope you enjoy. Time for some NFL preseason. This is Robert Mims, also known as the Gaming Guy, and I got some hot games coming this weekend. Starting out with the Jets playing against the Eagles. It doesn't always seem the Eagles are playing the Jets in preseason, but it's okay. We're going to enjoy the game anyway. That game's Friday at 7.30. Then we switch and look at the Packers as they go against the 49ers. That's going to be a hot game. You probably won't see many stars in that game, but get a chance to watch the schemes and how they're going to play. The next game I'm looking at is the Rams and the Chargers. Battle for L.A. Now, watching preseason or betting is not my cup of tea. But it does give you a chance to see how teams are playing. If they're going hot, their schemes, who a couple of the stars are. Do your homework during preseason so you can bet regular season and have success at it. It's time for some more NFL beat. This is Robert Mims, also known as the gaming guy. And I got three hot topics this week in the NFL. First hot topic is Deshaun Watson. Roger Goodell is now reviewing his case and thinking in terms of a season-long suspension. Do you think that's a little too harsh or is just right? And so it's a hard stance on Mr. Deshaun Watson and it doesn't seem to be fair to me if going from six games to an entire season. That's just my take. Tell me what you think by following me on Twitter at GamingGuyM. Second hot take is now with Najee Harris, Pittsburgh Steelers. Steelers will be in transition this year, so Harris is going to play a bigger role. Look for him to do so well in fantasy, as well as any projected stats you have for him throughout the season. And lastly, a shout out to Sean McVay. An extension on his contract with the Los Angeles Rams. Terms were not disclosed, but they got a solid leader in place as they try to repeat and go back to back in terms of the Super Bowl. Time for some more MLB. Hi, I'm Robert Mims, also known as the Gaming Guy. And there are five hot teams going out there right now in MLB. And those teams are the Los Angeles Dodgers, the Philadelphia Phillies, the St. Louis Cardinals, the New York Mets, and last but not least, oddly enough, the Baltimore Orioles. Now, the Orioles have a different side note to them. They start out the season at over 100,000 to 1 to win the World Series. Now their odds are down to 11,000 to win the World Series. It's a magic jump. So if you were to leap on them right now, that might be a sleeper type of pick. Now, let's look at the division, the NL East. Right now, the Mets are running away with it, you might want to say. But it's still a game set for the Phillies and the Braves who are both behind and both of those teams are slot for wild card positions, one and two respectively. So there you have it. Watch that division and bet that division, except for when they play each other. It's time for some more shout outs. Hi, I'm Robert Mims, also known as the Gaming Guy. And this week, we're looking at two companies out there that are doing some great things. First, Penn Game has changed their name to Penn Entertainment. With that being said, they're going to incorporate Barstool, who have a large stare to stake in, into their casinos across the country. You should look for that in 2023. Secondly, Toys R Us is returning in time for Christmas. They'll be in department stores all around the country, so you'll be able to shop there, get toys for your children and your loved ones. So there you have it. Those are two shout outs to companies this time. I'm not just relegating myself just to individuals, but whoever's doing something positive, something good, I'm shouting them out. So guess what? Next week, I might be shouting you out. Everybody got a spoiler alert, or should I say a news alert? This is Robert Mims, also known as the Gaming Guy. And guess what? I'm going to be attending the Sixers games this fall. Each and every one of them as part of the season ticket package. Saying that, there'll be coverage of the games, highlights of the games, projections by each game that I plan to attend. Now, there are going to be several games I plan not to go to. 
So guess what's going to happen with those tickets? That ticket can be yours. Simply if you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or LinkedIn and participate in contests, whatever I selected as a question, who gets the best answer to said question, the best commentary to any of my thoughts in terms of games, all this fall and all NBA. So stay tuned and start following me so maybe you can win that seat that I'm not going to be sitting in. So here we are. That's a wrap for Gaming God Digest for this week. Look for it again next week, August the 19th. And we give you all the information you need about sports, sports betting, and sports and entertainment. I'll be talking to you then.